Good afternoon, ladies and gents, guys and dolls. It's your girl Janae, and I'm back with another video. So, um, as I was on my way to work, um, the Lord, the Lord downloaded something into me, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a video, and I was not planning on doing no video today, but um, the Lord reminded me of something, and that is that there is a future and a hope for you. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you have been through. But I'm here to tell you that there is a future. There is a hope for you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what you've been through. That God is not finished with you. Okay, he is not finished with you. And for some of you, you might feel like you're all washed up. For some of you, you might feel like there's no purpose. There's no use. My situation looks helpless. My, my situation looks powerless. And I don't know what it is that you're going through. But the Lord told me to tell you to stick with it. Hang on and know his word. Know his word. Okay? That his plans are to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Proverbs 23, 18 says, For surely there is a hope for you, or there is a future for you, and your hope will not be cut off. For some of you, you are going through things, and you just feel like at any moment that you could die, or at any moment, whatever it is that you're going through, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's cancer, whatever it is, depression, whatever it is, that somehow it's just going to take you out. And I'm here to tell you that for surely there is a future for you and your hope will not be cut off. Hear me through the power of, of the name of Jesus that there is a hope for you. And I want you to stand on that and I want you to believe in that because Jesus said that he came to give us life and life more abundantly. That the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour but guess what we stand on god's word we put our weight on god's word and we will not be shaken we will not be moved and we just speak the word speak the word over your life um and there's a scripture that says um that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and guys and dolls when i tell you that like there are thoughts and things that I go through and challenges, like for some of you, you've been watching me for seven years, you know about my mental health story. And I, I mean, literally the, the um, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, is how I fight back. That is like the most best weapon I can think of is the word of God. But you have to know the word of God. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. And you have to stand on, stand on that. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love and power and of a sound mind. Resist the enemy and he shall flee. Resist the enemy. Submit to God. That's number one. Submit to God. Resist the enemy and he shall flee. And that's some of the things that I've had to learn over the past year to really like know these scriptures and to stand on the word of God. And that has just been the best thing to help me. So I don't know what you all are going through but I'm here to tell you that God is not finished God is not done with your life you have a purpose you have a, a purpose and a destiny that you shall fulfill and it doesn't matter what the enemy throws your way the fiery darts it doesn't matter we send it back in the name of Jesus we send it back in the name of Jesus and we render whatever it is that the enemy is doing powerless because we have authority. Through Jesus, we have authority. And so we have to stand on that and we have to know that our identity is in him. Our authority is in him. Okay? And, um, yeah, I just want to come on and share that with you right before I get ready to um, go into work. But um, I love you all. Stay encouraged. Stay grounded in the word of God study yourself um, approved and just know that God has you in the palm of his hand. He has you. I love you all. Bye.